here with Tim. Hello, everyone. My name is Tony Nice. And we are on our way to WrestleMania in the first stop, Elimination Chamber. And that's what we're going to talk about. Elimination the Chamber. Also, I think the only stop on the way to WrestleMania, but... I mean, no, there's some Smackdowns and some Rawls, but you know, yeah, 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 yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> You know, maybe some house shows we don't get to see. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, but, whatever. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, it's only pay per view before yeah. WrestleMania. But Somet yeah. Sometimes there is two, but they've chosen to put Mania really early this year. No idea why. But whatever. No idea why. It doesn't matter either. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't no. even matter. Anyways, let's just go ahead and talk about these lovely matches. Because that's what we do on the prediction show. Yep. We'll start off with my favorite match! As always. <laughs> the Undisputed Universal Championship match. We got Sami Zayn versus Roman Reigns. I, I have no idea what they're going with this. I have no idea. No I idea! Mean, I have an idea, but I mean... I mean, I have an idea because it's been the same idea for the past fucking three years or yeah, two years. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I hate myself for saying this, but I think Roman should win this one. Um, Not because I don't want Sane to have that moment, because seriously, Sami Zayn has carried this company on his shoulder for the last year and a half. Yeah. And probably deserves... Like a big, big title win moment more than anyone else on the bloody roster, but I think, and I'm just guessing, I think Ro it's going to be a fight. Roman is going to uh, win. He's going to start beat down, beat down the uh, Sammy, but Jay is going to be oh no, blah, blah blah blah, and then Jay is either going to turn against Roman at Mania or just stand aside and not intervene or something and let Roman lose. That if they want to play it as Roman actually losing to Cody, that's how I would see them playing this thing. Okay, I see a little bit differently. Well, see, <laughs> see your way. Oh, uh, I see Sami Zayn winning because of an inference from Jay Uso, which is fine because Sami Zayn can go off because Cody's gonna like it's in WrestleMania anyway. It doesn't matter, so it could be Cody versus. Sami Zayn, because they had this great moment on Raw the other night between the two of them and everything like that. If you guys haven't seen it yet, go check that out. Anyways, then that way that can start a feud between Jay and Roman. But that's just my theory. I like your theory too. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Like, I don't like, know. Um, I'm pretty the fact that it's the universal title rather than just one of them sort of says that Roman is definitely going to win it. Um, yeah. But, I mean... It, it, but, like I said, I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know either. I'm just... This is, to me, about furthering... Furthering the Bloodline storyline while giving Sammy, like, a major... I think this is the first actual, like, world championship title run. A world championship title shot Sammy has ever had on the main roster. I might be wrong. Um, um, I don't know. At least I can't remember. It, it must have been some years since the last, at the very least. So, I mean, it just, it, it, it's fine. It's going to be a fine match. It's going to be the same match Roman has had forever, because that seems to be the only, the only way they can, uh, they can work this out. And, yeah, we'll go from there. Alright. Next match! Got... I hope you're right. That's all I will say. I mean, I hope I'm right too, but I'm probably sure you're right. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, next match we got Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley. Brock Lesnar versus Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar versus Black Buck Brock Lesnar. Um You know what? I think they're fighting because they both have the initials B L and like Yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> they're fighting over who is the real B L and like, um, you know, there can only be one. God it wasn't who <laughs> they thought they didn't have BS, right? <laughs> and um, that's how it only can only be one BO. <laughs> Sorry. <yeah. laughs> no, I mean it, it's, it's actually unfair. Both Lashley and Lesnar has done better in the last year than they have done for like the last decade and a half. Yes. Um. 
but I, I still can't really get over the fact that, yeah, it's a, another Lesnar Lashley match. This is, again, the third we've had in the last year, I think. Um, I, think like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, uh, who's going to win? I don't actually know. The guy who was initial to be L is definitely going to win. Yeah, exactly. The BL guy is definitely yeah, the best BL guy is definitely going to win. Um, I. I got, I'm gonna go with Bobby. Yeah, I mean that's that's possible. I I think. I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. And I mean, if nothing else, I'm pretty sure both of them are going to fight again in a month yes, at Mania, right? At Mania, yeah, exactly. Um, so it doesn't or in really a month matter. and a half at Mania. Um, we're going to have this match again. So whoever wins this again, this might be one of those that doesn't actually have an ending or have a shenanigan ending. I would imagine Bobby was going to win in a heel turn with the uh, resurrected uh, Hurt business. At least I would not be surprised if it was true. Um, but yeah, let, let's put our money on, on, on Bobby. I, I, I find it difficult to get excited about this match. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a good match, but it's not. I'm just like, oh, okay, we've seen this before. Yeah, fine. There's that's, no, that's okay. There's no, it's like, I don't even know what the hell they're fighting about over what. No, Yale, it's just like, Yale Brock issues. decided to come back and be an asshole. Yeah, okay, exactly. Fine. Have, have fun with that. Great. Yeah, you know what, have fun, have fun with that. Good job. <laughs> yep. Anyways, next match. We got the United States Championship match with his Elimination Chamber match. Um, yeah. Austin Theory will defend his belt against Seth freaking Rollins versus... Jo um, Johnny Gargano versus Bronson Reed versus Damian Priest versus Montez Ford. It's a I'm good, good lineup yep. here. Good lineup. Very good. Very good. I mean, except for Bronson Reed, who is. Yeah. Um, I mean, no offense to Bronson Reed. He, he's a he's a fine wrestler, I'm sure, but he's just a different sort of type of wrestler than anyone else in the ring. Right. Like more of a well. Bobby Lashley type, really, um, like the the big powerhouse. Um, while the other ones are, uh, while all the other ones are, some of the best like technical fighters. Is, yeah. The company have. Um, I mean, the the only one, the the only way they really could have made it better was to put AJ in there. But isn't he injured right now? I think he's injured right now. I think so. Um, um, but I mean, I want it to be Johnny Gargano. Just because I have, I'm, I, I, I know Johnny Gargano is just an amazing, amazing wrestler. But I'm going to go. He out knows the personal and... experience, guys. Yeah, absolutely. The match I had with Johnny Gargano. Oh man. Man, what a it's match! Like Y'all best, missed it. It's like it. the best thing he's ever done. It's like the best thing he's ever done in wrestling. Uh, no, it's because I remember seeing Johnny Gargano in NXT, and I want to see Gargano have a title and feud with Tommaso Ciampa again. Because their feud in NXT was rather spectacular. No, I think I'm going to go out on a limb and say either Austin Theory retains or Montez Ford actually gets it. Yeah, I can see that. Like, I, I, I are, think that... they are clearly they're... speeding up the breakup between... The, speeding up the breakup of... Um, oh, it looks like they're speeding up the breakup of the Street Profits. And no offense to Angelo Dawkins, but it's been pretty clear that Montez Ford was going to be the breakout star. Right. Um, and if they are going to, like, I, I'm not fond of that. We talked about that before. I like a strong tag team division, and I don't see there being anything less good about being, like, tag team champions as world champion. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think those two titles should be considered even. I know they're not, but I feel like they should be. Um, but it looks like it, it's not. It, I'm glad they're not doing the well. They have to break down and have a feud, uh, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins. But it looks like they are starting to test the waters for a Montez That's Ford it. single run. Right. And him with the title could be in a feud, maybe with Theory. Could be could be cool. I, say, I like to see that. I yeah, like see I, that. I would really too. Like I'm a big Montez Ford fan, so I, I, I think would, also. I, would love to see that. I think also, even if like okay, we have like Damian Priest, that could be. Good for like the da judgment. Damien could be good for for, for the judgment, judgment day, day to have right? A title. Right, especially um, since like you know Rhea is going for a yeah. title at yeah. WrestleMania, so that could be good for them. Yeah, exactly. and, and, that. I, and I will, I will never say no to a Seth Rollins. Uh, no, of course, not. of course I mean, not. 
Like they could give said freak said Seth Rollins like every title and how. But I, I, I I mean, I doubt Seth Rollins would win because I because, don't because think for what Rollins is winning. Rollins could win though. because I feel like they're going they're trying to push this Seth Rollins versus Logan Paul at WrestleMania. Yeah, match. that that that's so. going to be the Mania match, and I don't yeah. think that's going to be for a title. Right. So. Um. But like I feel like I hate like that I hate that because it means I'm going to have to enjoy watching Logan Paul. Because I think those two are going to have a very good match. Yes, <laughs> I know. Like, oh god, it's just like I gotta give this, uh, oh, this stupid. Jesus, I'm going to have to say. Good I job, have, Logan I have to again. give this Why? person credit. Oh god. <laughs> god. <laughs> Why? God. But this yeah, no, I mean, it could be anyway. It could be Bronson Reed. He's coming hot. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. I just, I just think, like, all of them could have really good reasons for getting the title. But I put my uh, money on. Champion retains or Montez Ford gets. I mean, this is the one thing that I like about these kind of like, like I said, like these kind of matches because mm -hmm. you don't know. If anybody can no. benefit from this. Anybody yeah, can benefit yeah, from I mean, it. I mean, you also don't know what they want to use it for. Right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, if they you already don't know have if... something, something lined up at Mania for all of these people. Then it's like, well, let's give it to Bronson Reed because he's the only one we haven't got a plan for, really. Pretty yeah, uh, true. So, you never know, um, but yeah. Alright guys, well, let's move on to the next match. Yep. We got Edge and Best Phoenix versus Finn Balor and Ryan Ripley. This is a difficult one because Edge and Beth should win. This is obviously like, they were the ones who got uh, beaten down and broken last time. This is a return match. It's Edge and Beth. I mean, just for the just for the you know coolness and nostalgia factor, they should win. But I am not. However, <laughs> however, the idea of giving Rhea a big loss in right, the last first, pay per view she, before she challenges Charlotte for the title does not look good. <laughs> does would look really bad. Yes, I mean um, the only thing that could probably save that is was like a disqualification. Or a, like or, yeah, or, yeah, a, or a or a double count out or whatever. Oh, yeah, no, I mean I, I could see a disqualification uh, loss. Uh, it's not hell in a cell or some or anything, as far as I can recall. Right. Um. So, or is it? Is it hell in a cell? No, no, I don't it's, think it is. it's just a regular match. Yeah. So, I mean, Damian Priest again and Dominic can obviously get involved and cause a DQ, and we could still have Beth and Edge run the Judgment Day off, and you know. Stand tall. Well, they get the they get the DQ match and stand tall in the ring. Uh, I mean that 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 would work for the purpose. But I mean, I, I feel like Edge and Beth should win for just how everything is set up. But yeah, Rhea really. Yeah, because I, I saw the same way. I also was like, when I was thinking about it, and I was like writing the matches down. And I was like, well, how is this going to work? Because it's like you want yeah. like Ryan Ripley to be, to be like dominant as much as possible, at yeah. least towards you know. WrestleMania, and it's like, well, she loses, you know, this Saturday. Like, uh. yeah. Then it's like, okay, so so she loses to Beth Phoenix. I mean, no offense to Beth Phoenix, or I mean, I mean, it's Edge and Beth Phoenix. Beth Phoenix is two of the greatest of all time, or at least two of the greatest of the last twenty years. But I mean, she loses to Beth Phoenix, and I'm supposed to believe that she's gonna she beat defeat Charlotte, Charlotte right? <laughs> like. Is, being pushed. I mean, say what you want about Charlotte. I don't know if she actually... Like I said, everyone knows I'm a big Charlotte fanboy. Uh, just for her in-ring. I think she plays a wonderful heel, and I think she's amazing in the ring. But Charlotte is being pushed by the company as the greatest female... Like, she is... She's not quite the Roman Reigns, but if you ask WCW just based on how they're booking things, who is the best women wrestler you have, or the greatest women wrestler you have? It's obviously Charlotte, the way she's being put. Um, and if Rhea has to go up against her after losing to Beth, who has been retired for like 15 years, it's it's not good. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna s probably say that. I mean, I'm just gonna go with Finn Balor and Rhea. I feel like they should win, cause. No, I agree. They should win, especially if they're trying to get. <laughs> My goodness. The, bless you. If they're yeah, especially you. trying to, you know, go with the thing with Ryan Ripley and Charlotte Flair. Yeah. And then, like, they can always like have another match with, like, you know, 
Right. Yeah, no, you're you right. Know. I also don't mind the Judgment Day winning. I'll be fine with that. I mean, it's not I mean, a problem at all. Yeah. I mean, I don't, you, I don't, my God. Are you allergic to Ryan Ripley? What's wrong with I you? I think so. <laughs> he doesn't want I you to I win. Might, <laughs> I think I might be allergic to mi mix, uh, mixed gender tag mixed matches. Mixed tag matches. Yeah, gross. <laughs> <laughs> they make me sick. Yeah, ew. <laughs> but like, yeah, I don't know. This one is kind of like the, this one is like kind of. <laughs> this one's kind of like weird. I don't know which way to go on this one because it could be either no, or, and it could. I'm, it, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put my money on the. I'm gonna put my money. I mean, the only thing that could ever is, is, is the like Edge and Phoenix wins. The only way I can make up is that Ryan Ripley would have to win like every little freaking like match on Raw or something. So it's like yeah. <laughs> no, I'm 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 gonna put my money on a. It's like you said earlier. I'm gonna put my money on an Edge and Beth D DQ. I DQ victory. Sorry, I was almost sneezing again. Yeah, I'm gonna put my money on an Edge and Beth DQ victory. We better we better move on from this match before you have a sneeze. I think so. We better yes. <laughs> Uh, the next match, it was, was the last match, is for the number one contenders match, which is Elimination Chatter for the Raw Women's Championship for WrestleMania. So whoever yeah. wins this match will go on to WrestleMania to beat the crap out of Bianca Bella for her belt. Maybe. Yep. Anyways. Or get the, beat the crap beat out of them. Either or. Right? Either or. <laughs> either way. Yeah. We got Raquel Rodriguez. Nikki Cross, Liz Morgan, Oscar, Natalia, and Carmella. Late. They're See, all versus each other. I, I have guys. seen a lot of people suggesting it's going to be Liv again. But I don't believe that. Simply because they cannot pick a face. They are not going to have a mania face versus face match, and I don't think they are ready to turn either Liv or Bianca. Right. So I'm I wanted to be Asuka just because I want to see where she what she can do how the audience is actually going to take the Kana character, um, but I still think it's going to be Raquel Rodriguez. I know she's not playing a heel, but her character is so undefined that she could turn without too much hassle. Yeah, I think I'm it's, afraid I, I, it's going to be Carmella. Oh God, no. <laughs> I do not. I'm sorry. I like Carmella, but I don't think she's like. No, really. yeah, no, no, no. I, 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 I like Carmella, but do I think I, do I? I don't think she's really worthy of a WrestleMania main the event. Main event? No, no, I kind of. There, there are other people. There are other people in this match who deserves to main event Mania more than Carmella right now. Yes. And again, it's not even Carmella's skill or anything. A lot of it simply has to do with the fact that she's been away for quite a while at this point. True. Um, but I like... Again, that's the only thing that sort of goes against Raquel Rodriguez. It, 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 it's the, is she ready to main event a main? I know the women's match, title match with Bianca is not going to be, be the main event. Like, if any of the women's matches are going to main event day one, it's going to be Charlotte and, and, and Rhea. Right. But still, is she ready to, like, headline I mean, it's, Mania? And, yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know either. I mean, here's the thing. Like I like you said, I I can see Raquel Rodriguez winning. I can also see Asuka winning it. I can yeah. see, like, I can Natalia, see, like... I, there's a possibility. I mean, there's always a possibility with Natalia. Let's see how, you know, yeah. that goes. I mean, I can... Natal See, I can see Liv going the distance because what she did, so I can, can I. go with Again, Liv Rubble. Liv is really good at chasing titles, yes, right? Yes, right. She's a good chaser. I mean, after, <laughs> after they took it off her the way they did, I could also see them. I mean, Liv is over with the fans. She's obviously super popular. I could see them give Liv a mania moment. Yeah, I can see, um, I can see Liv, Liv doing a mania with yeah. uh, with that, you know, I mean, because it's like, I, okay, it would, the, also, it would be the Kofi moment, right? Right, yeah. But it's like, like you um, said, that's probably they won, like, a heel versus face, but I'm like, I mean, a face versus face wouldn't be so bad, no, no, es I mean, especially, I especially since, I don't mean to interrupt you, especially since, like, Charlotte Flair is now face, and Ryan Ripley is, like, the heel, we already got, like, a face, wheel, a face of woman, you know, a heel face in that match already, so a face to face is fine yeah. with me. Charlotte as a face is weird. Yeah, 
weird. It it's the really same thing is. With her father. It's it, the same thing with her father. It like, really is. Dated. I'm just like, oh god, go back to being a heel. <laughs> yeah, I, I know Rick played a heel, uh, sorry, a face in a lot of storylines in the end of his career, just because, you know, at that point, he would get cheered no matter what he did. It was Ric Flair. Right. But, I mean, it's just, it, it feels wrong, right? It just doesn't feel right. It's like, there's something, no. up, there's something really wrong around here. He's also just so good at the heel character she's playing that, yes, she, you know, she, she just, just feels wrong she, as a she, face. Somehow. She just plays the bitch role so well. <laughs> just... Yeah, she really does. Again, like I said, I'm, I'm a huge, huge Charlotte Flair fan. Like, a really, really big Charlotte Flair fan. I think she does what she does to absolute perfection. Um, but, yeah, no. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. It could be, it could be anyone. Like I said, if, if, if you ask me, I will put my money on Oscar. But it's it's just a hunch. I mean, that's what I would like to see, Oscar or, Ra or Raquel. Yeah. I just don't want to see Oscar just to see how this character fades out, yeah. or, you know, plays out. Whatever, but I like I, Carmela. I, I'm sorry. I like you, but no. <laughs> like, oh yeah, no. yeah. Th that's the thing. I, and, and again, I hope I never meet Carmela because she's probably going to beat the snot out of me. <laughs> um, I have never seen Carmela as a main eventer. I've always been shocked that Carmela has got multiple world title uh, uh, runs. Yeah. Um, I don't know why. I don't. Yeah, I don't know why. There's just something about him. It's like, eh, just, I mean, it's she's not good. Even her character, her character is fine. She plays it very well. She's not bad in the ring, but she, she just, she's not good. It's like she's, she's not super good it's, either. Maybe it's, it's like, that. It's like she's missing something. Like, can I? Like, I yeah. feel like she's just missing something. It's like yeah, all the exactly. ingredients are not there. It's like it tastes fine. But there's yeah, something exactly. missing to me. It's like, I don't know. It's like, it's like cooking a fine steak and then taking the first bite, and it's just like, eh, this is okay, but it's not great. Hey, well, I could have been better. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I don't even know what it is. She, she is missing that uh, je ne sais quoi. Like, I don't, I don't know what factor. Like, like I said, I can't even... I mean, I really liked is. her when she was, like, you know, with truth and everything. And I thought that was cool. No, and I really I liked her. And I really liked her with, yeah. like, Selena Vega when they were doing tag teams. And I, I think that she did need, need someone to, like, bounce off her. Or even when she was with that other guy. What is yeah. his fucking name? God, I can never remember that dude's name. Anyways, where he, she won, what? like, the money in the belt. And they got the... Oh, the, uh, uh the, 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 that, that dude. That yes, dude. The, I can't the, even remember his the, name. The, the, the black what? guy in the suit. Yes. No, not the I black guy. His name either. Not the black guy. Oh. The white guy. Oh, like, the, the beginning. The Oh, uh, James Elmore. That's it. Well, even with him, we, I mean, I felt like she had to... James Ellsworth, not Elmore. James Ellsworth, yeah. I the think when, I, I think when she has team. somebody with her, she's a little bit more exciting to me, but when she's by herself, yeah. it's just like, oh, okay, you're like that... Maybe it's... You're like that one that. girl. What's her name? Oh, yeah, Chelsea Green. Oh, who cares? <laughs> the true queen of wrestling. We will not hear bad things about the queen. Um, right, sure. No, I think that might be it with Carmella. Her storylines feel comedy mid-card. Yes. When she's at her best, more than they feel like, you know, main event style. But again, I mean, I'm not gonna, never gonna say it to her face, because if I do, she'll probably beat the shit out of me. Um, I'm sure she's very good at what she does. But yeah, uh, like, I, I put my money on Asuka. Same. More out of hope than anything. Same, same. But anyways, guys, that is it. That was the last match. Yep. Um, um, don't forget that Elevate Drake Striper comes on this Saturday. Yep. February 18th. Um, yep. I have a video yesterday, so go watch that. Uh, my review on the Outer Worlds. Tim streams hopefully today. I don't know. Yeah, unless something gets in the way at least. Unless fucking like, Harry Potter gets in the way or something. Stupid Harry Potter. Yeah, well, that's... Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, no, lit literally... Last week it was like, okay, I have I have all my regular views and every one of them is playing bloody Harry Potter. Stupid Harry Potter. Maybe, I possibly. I don't know. I didn't play Harry Potter. Um, Good. But now I'm gonna put my swing. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as we're done here. As soon as we're finished, I'm gonna go play some Harry Potter. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Anything else you want to say? 
No, not really. Um, enjoy. Enjoy our videos. Yay! Make sure you subscribe. I never really say that, but yeah, do that. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>